Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, the fastest growing gear site on the web, and today we're gonna uncreate the HJC i50. HJC, in case you didn't know, is the number one helmet manufacturer in the world. That means they make more helmets than anyone else, millions and millions of helmets. So that didn't just happen by an accident. They make an awesome helmet. They usually deliver it at a reasonable price point. The i50 is no exception. This is a polycarbonate dirt helmet of their newer generation. This helmet has not been out that long. And you can tell it's modern, modern styling. We're gonna go into all the quirks and features and, and goodies on this guy for you today. Price point about 150 to 180. My disclaimer in pricing this day, these days is this is spring of 2022. If you watch this at a later date and the price has crept up, don't get mad at me. Um, while we're speaking about price, this is the hot off the presses Red Bull Spiel, Spielberg edition. This thing just came in and uh, we're gonna do our uncreating with this. It, it makes sense, right? Now, it is a bit more expensive than the rest of the i50s. You know, you gotta pay Red Bull to use their stuff and uh, that ain't cheap. So this one's going for just north of 200, I believe it's $220, so you're gonna pay that premium for the cool Red Bull graphics, but this is one of the first helmets ever collaborated on, available to the public with a Red Bull logo. They're also gonna do a couple of street helmets with HJC, so that is the Red Bull collab, and your first chance to really get an out-of-the-box uh, Red Bull graphic. This is, again, the Spielberg i50. So, back to this helmet, this is, um, 3.3 ounces, so relatively lightweight. Again, polycarbonate shell. Intermediate oval head shape, which means it fits most heads in the US market without trouble. HJC is usually pretty good on sizing and runs true to size. Go by the HJC sizing chart at speedaddicts.com. And remember, we know shopping online for helmets can be a little tricky. So if you get it wrong, you need a different size, just decide you don't like that helmet. Truly risk-free shopping. If you shop at speedaddicts.com, we'll pay to get this helmet to you in the first place. But if it didn't work out, we'll pay that return shipping. So. Remember, if you buy your next lid at Speedax, you'll actually ride faster and be more attractive. Let's look at what you're getting for your $150 to $180 here. First up, like I said, that modern design, modern ventilation, cool looking sun visor with the gills on it. It's just a good looking helmet. It's CAD designed, it's aerodynamic, and it ventilates really well. Um, let's start up at the top with that, the, the peak as we call it in the business, you might call it a visor. So you see all the arrow work they did on this thing? That is meant to keep the helmet from pulling on your head at speed. Um, old school visors tend to, especially if you got it up, you know, over 50 miles an hour, the helmet would start to pull on your head. That's no fun. So they've paid special attention to the design of this peak so that it does not do that. Ventilation, nine forehead vents, folks. Um, so we got a ton of intake ventilation up around the top and you have your, your classic chin bar vents down below. So you got lots of air rushing into this helmet and you do have exhaust ports on the back. The EPS is ported. If you hold this up to the sun outside, you can see the sun streaming in through these back exhaust ports. These are not just for show. They actually are ported all the way through into the comfort liner to keep you cool while you're riding and get that hot air going out the back. <clears throat> when it comes to dirt helmets, Number one point of entry for air, of course, is the eye port. You want an extra big eye port for that ventilation. You want a little bit of room around your goggles, and you just want to be able to fit all the latest and greatest goggles out there. And we'll do the goggle test right now. This is a brand new ProGrip goggle. This is the 3205, and it is giant, just so you can see how that guy fits. And that jumps in there, no problem. So there's your goggle test. Around the back, you'll see that they designed the shell with this ridge to keep your goggle strap in place. You're gonna to wanna to put that underneath your exhaust board so you don't block that off. So <clears throat> that is your goggle test. Should be able to accommodate whatever goggles you throw at it. And again, that's about a four finger eye port. It's good for peripheries too, and uh, you will be dialed in. Let's flip this guy over and see what else we're working with inside. I mean, before I flip it over, you can see the interior. It is a pretty interior and there are some cool features. One thing I will say, I don't love lightly colored interiors on motocross helmets. It seems like kind of a bad idea. They tend to get, um, you know, discolored even if you wash them. So that would be my nitpick. But the comfort liner is nice and squishy. Lots of low density foam. It is a comfortable helmet to hang out in. And we're gonna pull these cheek pads out of the way so you can see what's going on inside. Double D-ring closure, I should undo that first. So it is traditional helmet closure here, nothing special. 
We're gonna pull these cheek pads out of the way. They're held in with a few snaps on the inside. And then across this edge, you've got these, uh, these tabs and this one's holding on pretty good. So that's how that snaps into place. And like I said, lightly colored, that's probably my biggest complaint about this helmet, but lots of low density, squishy foam. Remember when it comes to helmet fit, you want it to fit nice and snug out of the box. You don't want it to be too roomy because this thing will break in when you ride, especially motocross, you sweat. This low density foam breaks down over time and will compress about 10 to 15% depending on the helmet. So allow some room for break in. Uh, I recommend testing your helmet in your living room for a good 20, 30 minutes. Make sure it's as snug as possible without causing true discomfort, headaches, your head or your face to turn bright red, that sort of stuff. Okay, there's our other cheek pad out of the way. You see that is a speaker pocket, which is cool. So you can run a comm system, you want to listen to music, take calls, probably not on a motocross bike, but you can install whatever comm system you want because they got that, the cheek pads right there. Also baked into this is a new HJC technology called SLID, that's sliding layer, layer impact distribution. So this is gonna handle and mitigate rotational energy when you hit the ground and it is built in here. You see those gel pucks that are part of that comfort headliner. So that is gonna create some distance between the, the harder EPS foam inside of that helmet and your head and allow sliding, allow more time for the forces to chill out before they go into your brain, right? So you, you see this with different helmet companies, there's MIPS, uh, MIPS is a third party that lots of helmet companies are using, 6D has their own technology, Fly has Rion. So it's all about reducing that angular momentum because if you just hit and your head sticks inside of a helmet, all that rotational energy is transferred into your brain and it's a lot like, more likely to get a concussion uh, in that situation. So this is how HJC is trying to mitigate those energies. Uh, I'm gonna pull this out of the way so you can see what this looks like out of the helmet. And um, you know, it's interesting because it is right down the middle. And um, whereas some of the other technologies surround the whole liner, this, this strip is their slid technology. It doesn't look like much from back, but when you squ squish on them, they are kind of a hard gel material. Not hard, but uh, harder than that low density squishy foam. Uh, that makes up this uh, the rest of the headliner. So that is the slid technology. And it's nice that it's one piece. So other, especially the legacy like MIPS models, you pull the headliner out and there was this another yellow layer here. And sometimes that would get, you know, knocked out of place or it was just, you know, you had to remove it when you wanted to clean the helmet. This is nice because it's all in one system here in your headliner. Okay. While we have that out of the way, you're gonna see some channels, you're gonna see some porting to get that ventilation flowing onto your head. That is the interior EPS system. And another last thing about this liner, this is their super cool wicking antimicrobial do-it-all liner material. So it's cool when it's hot out and you will be warm when it's cool out. And they are backing this all up with a three-year warranty. HJC stands behind their products for a full three years, which is nice to know when you're gonna invest almost $200 or if you're buying that Red Bull graphic, over $200. Again, folks, this is the i50 from HJC. Head over to speedx.com. Remember, risk-free shopping. If you have any fitment issues, just decide it's not for you. We cover that shipping both ways. Remember to subscribe, and we'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.